This is a demonstration on how to use Yasu, which is short for yet another software wizard, which is a bit like Scantaylor, but it does post-processing of images when you've taken them with your uh, book scanner. So first of all, you click on the left-hand side of the screen there, and you want to add some of the images that were taken from the left side of the book, so add image. It's a good idea to have all your, all your uh, pictures into labeled folders, so I'm going to choose the left side here, and I'll just choose a few of the pages from this book. You can click and hold the control at the same time to select more than one at a time, so we'll click on those and bring those into the left side. Then we click on the right side here and we'll import some images from the other folder which is the right folder and I'll click on a few pages from that too. So there you are, you've got the left pages and the right pages. Now we'll start with the left hand side first of all and what we want to do is to make sure that the any filters, any changes that we apply to the first page will be propagated through the rest of the document. So I'm going to click on here and to all following images of the side. And that will mean that any changes we make to the first one will be replicated in these other ones on this side. So first of all we want to rotate this one and it needs to be rotated to the left. So the, we're on the first tab here, we'll click on the first image and rotate it to the left and then we can do a preview just to see if it's worked alright, yes it has and that will have been propagated to all of those ones. Now we click on the right hand side and that's going to go to the right, there it is. So that's the first filter that's applied to the documents and all of those, although they haven't shown up here as being changed, they will all have been changed. Right, we'll go back to the left side again and we want to do key, de keystoning now. We'll click on that. Now, keystoning is where the image isn't quite rectangular, and you see this image here is not fully rectangular, it's slightly uh, narrower at the top. So, you have to drag this little key, this little four handled um, guide here, to the four corners of the page. So, we'll drag the start with the bottom right and drag it down to there roughly and then we'll take the top right and drag it over there and the bottom left and finally the top left and you might want to make a few little modifications actually this looks okay and we can preview that now and you see that's now rectangular and that will be propagated to all the ones on the left side now we'll do the right hand side and uh, we'll just take take the preview on one off to show the uh, the handles, <coughs> and um, we'll drag this one down now to the right hand side. There we go. You get it as close as you can, and then maybe just make a few little tweaks as you go along. That one needs doing down there. And we'll take that one a little bit further over there. There we go, I think that's alright. Right, now we're going to go to uh, have a look at the preview. Yep, that's good. Uh, we'll do the left hand side, side again now, and we're going to do cropping. Now, this time you get a square with two handles on, and uh, not the four like in the deco uh, de keystoning and you just drag it to the bottom right and to the top left of the image and that marks out the area that you want to be re retained from this picture so all this garbage around here is going to go we preview that and that's the kind of image you're going to get we'll do the same on the right hand side click off the preview and we'll do the cropping there take that one down too and we just have a preview of that one that's okay then finally you go on to the scaling 
and uh, first of all I like to use millimeters so millimeters is okay but there are other options there pixels or inches but I'm going to use millimeters I'm also going to put it on the highest level of resolution which is 600 dots and then the resulting image size I want this to be the same size as the original book now my book is 105 millimeters by 150 millimeters and so that shows the book as it's going to come out so that's a finished sort of image really um, and then you can export to the JPEG format I'll put it into that folder there select the folder and those will be exported into that folder now one thing just I would like to mention if you, if you find uh, there we go thank you um, if you find as you're going down the images if you've got a long book it could be that your book um, moves a little bit or has moved a little bit when you were taking the images so you may find that the uh, keystoning or the cropping need to be modified a bit further down well it's okay to do that because if you look at the bottom here you can make a modification to any of the images way down here maybe the 30th or 40th page and change uh, make changes and it will go to all the following images on the side so you can actually correct things sequentially going down if you find there's something that's wrong um, you can check it out um, and make corrections and that will be propagated forward to the end of the book um, so there we are it's a very good piece of software quite easy to use once you've figured it out and um, it's very it gives a nice quality picture now these if you look at the images here this particular image you can see quite a bit of uh, bleed through from the other side of the page and what I do from this I use this as the output of the Yasu uh, program as an input into scan Taylor which is another free program because scan Taylor is very good at removing all that sort of um, grayness and giving you a very crisp black and white image in very good resolution so all that background stuff which you don't want on there on this gray scale image will be removed by scan Taylor and give you a lovely crisp black and white image so those two programs together are very good indeed and I'd like to thank both of the authors for the hard work that they've done in preparing them. I hope this helps. Thank you.